Do, do. I might have a problem. I bought too much stuff again. <laughs> Megan, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to another episode of Megan spending money she does not have on useless crap. That's basically what this channel has come into the past few videos, basically. So today we are having a huge ColourPop haul. Um, simply because I think ColourPop is freaking amazing. I think ColourPop is that hoe. I think I'm a hoe for ColourPop is basically what this is. And I wish one day they will sponsor me, but that will never happen because I'm not relevant enough for them to even, you know, notice this. Like, look at this. Would you notice this? I'm just gonna be showing you guys a bunch of stuff that I bought from ColourPop. This was gonna be a ColourPop and Elf haul because I did buy stuff from Elf, but I got too impatient and I really want to play with this stuff, so I'm just gonna haul the ColourPop stuff because there's a. We're just doing a good old makeup haul, makeup unboxing, makeup that I did not need to buy, but we did. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button down below. Also, turn on post notifications that way you get notified every time I post a video because look at me. Why wouldn't you want to just have this pop up on your computer You know what? That was terrible. I'm sorry. Let's get on to the video. So, like mentioned, there's a lot of crap. Okay, there's a lot of crap, basically. Start off with some skincare because I really like Forfray. I have some few products of it currently. Here on top, the one thing... Oh, no. Okay, really wanted to try was um, they have a new gel moisturizer. Now, if you're an oily combo type of gal like me, like yourself, um, gel moisturizer is the way to go. Stop putting heavy Olay cream on your skin. Like, it's not good for you. Like, this is the Forfray Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. This has... It's an oil-free gel moisturizer that drenches skin. Love that drenches it. Um, with a burst of hydration. 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 Hi, hydration. Hydration. Formulated with a comforting combination of watermelon, rose water, hydro... Hydro... Hyaluronic acid, because I can't read, and marshmallow extract. This is what it looks like. Also, one thing I notice a lot is the For Frey packaging is good. A little dabby dab on my skin so it has a nice little protective lid on there and let's see if I can close it up and then ooh, ooh, feels nice I have no product on my skin at all I know natural beauty don't we love that um, I know I look gross a little headband to put my hair up and it's actually like this scrunchie right here that has a little doo -doo. Um, it's like a little headband that has a little bow, like a little doo doo. So cute. So just put your little hair back in this. Oh, how cute. Why am I putting it around my neck? That's Next up from Forfray, I really wanted to try the Rainfall Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Acid. I can't pronounce it, okay? You guys know what I'm- it's this. I got Hyaluronic Acid Serum, it's 2%, and it is known to deeply quench skin with vital hydration by attracting and biting water within the skin surface as seaweed sugar, cucumber water, and coconut water. And it's supposed to instantly hydrate. And I heard this is good to put like with your little rolly thing on it. Watching a clear liquid right now. Ooh, she's kind of picky. Hold on. Oh. Oh, this is going to quench my skin. Damn right, it's gonna quench my skin. This step, I got their detox line. So I got this, it's the Clean Slate Foaming Exfoliator. And this is intriguing to me, just because it is an exfoliator and it's not like a regular exfoliator. So what it is, it's a powder, powder exfoliator. So you just like dump a little out like that on your hand, like it's powder. And then you're supposed to add water and then you're supposed to exfoliate your skin like that, which I think is such a cool like technique. And it's supposed to draw your impurities, and we know we have a lot on this face. I got that. The detox line, I got the big detox mud mask. I really wanted a new mask, so this has bamboo charcoal, colony clay, glyconic acid, and tree tea and eucalyptus. So very similar to the exfoliator, and I believe this is just a gray mask. Let me see. Ooh, jiggly. Ooh, that smells like tree tree. Ooh, ooh, good. I'm excited for this. I'm seeing of the detox. I got the after hours detox face oil. So this is just to really draw out those impurities and it's black like my soul, so that's great. While you sleep after hours is formulated 
to absorb impurities and support skin clarity with a blend of oil. So hopefully this clears up my skin. Up, uh, this is, ooh, this is their spa treatment. Now I really wanted to try this just because um, I heard you're kind of, oh my god, I heard good things about spot treatments, like especially the Mari Badescu one, and this is something similar, and it's only $12, and it was sold out the first time I bought stuff from them. But basically, you just get like Q-tip, and you dip into it, and then you like spot correct, and that's going to be very great for me. It's an overnight spot treatment formulated with soothing ingredients to help reduce breakouts. Last thing in this little thing is their face milk. Now, I have their matcha face milk, and it is 10 out of 10, one of the best freaking moisturizers I've ever had. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to do is to moisturize. And I was running low on it, so I decided to get a new fla flavor. I'm not drinking this. A new <laughs> a new scent. And this is the rose face milk. So this has argan milk, rose milk, oat, and chamomile. Ooh. And it's a silky chalk of comfort for unhappy skin. And my skin is always unhappy. So all the things I got from Forfrey Beauty. So now I'm going to be moving on to the stuff I got from ColourPop. I got the Sweet Talk palette just because I've been wanting, wanting this palette for a long time. Because it looks like something I will wear every day. Like, look at all those peachy colors. And then this is their first palette with pressed glitter in it. And I'm excited. Because, like, look at the shade right here. Drama. Look at that. And it's one of their pressed glitters. Excited. Excited about that. This thing I got is a liquid liner from them. And this is just, I believe, is the regular black one. Yeah, and I really wanted to test this out just because we like a good liquid, 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 we like a good liquid liner. And if this is only eight dollars, then ooh, that's super black. Ooh, and look how felt to be it is. I love felt tip applicators, so I'm very excited to try this. It's the BFF liquid liner. I'm like curling up now because my camera's dying and it's really bad. Next thing I got is one of their so juicy lip glosses, lumping lip glosses, because. How can I deny that color? Like, how can I deny that color? This is the color. He's here because she's here, honey. Next up, we got the lip scrub and the lip balm combo from them. So this is in the flavor cocoa, I believe. Like, coconut. Um, lippy balm. I love that. Lippy balm. Lip balm. So we're going to try this out right now, actually. So let's unscrew that. It's a nice little applicator. Let's squeeze a little. Yeah, that tastes like coconut and then this is the coconut lip scrub just really been wanting to try a lip scrub you know we want to be smooth all around so like why not our lips that sounded so bad this thing from that order is the brow boss gel in the shade dark brown it's because I really like my elf brow well and I really this is something similar so I really want to try it out and it's just like this and it has like a little applicator right there and if you're like me who has like eyebrows for days um and you don't want to fill the lux lipsticks i order one's in the shade creme flesh and this is their velvet blur so this is like to like barely touch it Ooh, this is hard to open ow crap oh my god that hurt <laughs> like soft touch moment you know it's like a blotted lip but in a lipstick form and i just love ooh, i just love how ColourPop's lipsticks look like and it's like this nudie shade let's ooh, that comes off a little bit more coral but we'll see how it is on the lips but and then look how great this tubing is i just love it the luxe lipstick i got was i believe from the kathleen lights collection when she did the astrology and this is what's your sign and i just think it's such a cute little darker nude yeah it's more of a pinky dark nude and i'm excited to try that one out as well because up, i actually got two no filter concealers one for actual like concealing and one for under eye concealing so i got the shade Faro 8 as my highlighting concealer. oh my god did they change the packaging my other concealer doesn't because i have the white concealer from this because it's great for cut creasing by the way just letting you know wow color pop freaking get it oh my god wow this is fair 08 i got the shade 16 as just like a regular concealer because that's what i've been doing for my problem areas my scarring it's just been using a regular concealer this is shade light 16 right here the darker the darker one another lippy balm because i'm stupid and i like aesthetic so like i got this one this one's a cute i wanted the light pink one so freaking by the way color pop was having a sale everything was 30 to 20 percent off just letting you know that way you guys don't think i'm crazy for spending all my money on this there was a sale there's always a sale with me thing i got was the zoella lip bundle little one i won the packaging it's like a little milk carton it's so freaking cute and two um 
I like their matte formula now. It's really good. So I thought this color was just stunning. Like, as you can tell, I like nudes. But that's such a beautiful color. And then it comes with, like, a little lip balm. And I've never used lip liner. Like, I got another little cart. Look how cute. This packaging was so cute, like, honestly. And then, so these are actually the Group Hug Supernova Shadow Bundle. And this on my eye i was really excited for this shade right here which is called og and okay there i'm excited to put them in such a weird position right now bellini and then um it is that right there it's more of a pinky hue so i'm excited to play more around with those gel liner so this is different from liquid liner obviously so this is more of a stick form so i got this in dark brown because there's some days where black liner is just you know too much for me so i got this in a dark what shade is this in call me in the shade call me and it's just a nice dark brown moment just for me to get a little bit something but it's not too heavy on the eye i have an ultra blotted lip in vitamin c i love these when you just want to get have a little bit something but not like have it too noticeable so this is vitamin c and i know it looks kind of intense but it's really not like they blur out to such a nice finish and i really like those the last thing i got in here was um the Zoella palette and I think people kind of overlooked this palette just because it was kind of basic and stuff like that but I thought it was such a nice everyday palette and it kind of reminded me of the Kim K X Mario palette so I thought this was a cheaper option and I thought it was just so cute like those are such cute colors and I see myself wearing these like every day so I'm excited to use it and yeah that's all my crap that I spend money on. But that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up, subscribe. Also, comment down below any ideas you guys have for future videos. And until next time, bye. <laughs>